Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to record and edit in Audacity. If you're not familiar with Audacity, Audacity is a free software that's great for recording and editing audio files. In particularly, you can also use this for things like podcasting. I've used Audacity for many years in addition to Adobe Audition, Pro Tools, and so forth. If you don't already have Audacity, you can simply go to their website, which is audacityteam.org slash download and download the appropriate uh, software version for your device. Once you've downloaded that, you'll go ahead and open up your Audacity file. And once that opens up, it will look like this, just a gray blank slate. From here, you can do a number of things. You can import a file. or you can also record. Add a new track if you're adding multiple tracks and also record. To record you simply press this button here and you start recording and it'll record your voice. To stop you can press the stop button here or press the space bar on your keyboard. The space bar is going to be your favorite shortcut key when using Audacity. You can use it to start recording and stop recording. You can also use it in playbacks to start the playback and to stop the playbacks. In this particular example, if you see any lulls, pauses, or dead air in your recording, you can simply highlight it by using your mouse and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Highlight, and delete on your keyboard. If you find that your recording is very quiet, you can simply highlight, go to effects, volume, amplify, and the great thing about Audacity is that it does give you a recommendation on the volume change. You can preview and then apply if you like it. If you don't approve of it, you can slide the needle along the slider to adjust the volume or the amplification. So I like the amplification. We're going to go ahead and preview it one more time. Now, one thing you want to do is you want to pay attention to this area right here. It's already preset, but you can always change it as well. You want to be sure that your recording does not go over this line. That would indicate that your mic is hot or that it's going to be very uh, high peaks in the playback. So if we go ahead and do the preview again, there were a lot of peaks. So we're going to go ahead and bring that down a little bit more. We don't need it that much louder. That's better. So even though I was whispering, it brought up the volume. So once we apply it, you'll see that it changed the volume. Simply hit the space bar to playback, and it sounds absolutely great. Now, the other areas are not amplified. You want to be sure that everything matches. So again, you want to highlight, hit effect, volume, amplify. It gives the recommendation, apply it, and it looks like everything is. You can move the needle using your mouse just right before a change. All right, so that sounds good. Once you're done, you want to go ahead and you can either do select A for select all on your keyboard or simply drag using your mouse. And the important thing is once you've normalized the volume, you want to go ahead and compress. Now let's just say that there was a word in here that I wanted to get rid of. So let's do another recording. 
select all, we can delete or do new. So you can either, if you want to start over, you can do control all and delete or come up here and do new or open file. We're going to go ahead and just record another one. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Um, what do I say? Pause to end. So this here was the um. So let's go ahead and maximize it. I love the magnifying feature on here because it really allows you to get in there. Let's just say there was only a small portion of the world that you wanted to get rid of. Maybe it was a stutter. You can get rid of that. So we're going to go and highlight that and simply delete and the word is gone. Now let's go ahead and get rid of this file and I'm going to show you how to import an existing file. Simply go up to file, open, choose your desired file, And as you can see, it imports it right in. Magnify it so you can get a better view. And as you can see, when you magnify it, you can see a lot of the pauses. A quick tip when recording a podcast, if you are going to include intro music in your podcast, you do want to leave a little bit of this intro, this space here, to plug in any intro music. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. If you want your podcast to start immediately and you're not going to have any intro music, get rid of the dead air that's happening directly in front of your intro. The great thing about Audacity is it really allows you to get in there and edit very easily and simply. Once you get used to recording your podcast, it's going to be very easy for you to recognize certain trends in the audio file where you're able to recognize your ums, your so's, your buts, and so forth. So normally an um will look like, actually will look like this. Let's see if this is right. Oop. That was something. It wasn't an um, but it was something that I probably don't want in there. This here probably is an um. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So like I said, you're going to recognize, let's kind of highlight that, you are going to start to recognize once you do your podcast, what your ums look like, and you'll be able to highlight them right away. So again, you can highlight that. And in fact, there was a long pause after that um. So let's just get rid of all of that. Oh my goodness. So that is gone. And again, if you want to see the whole thing, you can look like this. Now you want the whole thing to kind of look relatively equal. So as you can see, there was several dips in the volume. Let's take a look to see what this is. I have a code host that is a far, she's very soft-spoken and there she is. So if we want to amplify her, we're gonna go to effect, volume, amplify. They're recommending 11%. And as we're looking right here, we can see that mm, we could probably bring it up a little bit more. So let's bring it up to about 12 or 11.9. All right, let's bring it up a little bit more. She's very soft-spoken. Okay, that'll work. We apply it, and as you can see, it looks a little bit more even. Now we want to keep in mind, though, these little peaks right here, what they are. Okay, no, that sounds really good. That's just kind of a moment of excitement. So this actually works very well. Let me show you what happens when you, once you've made the changes in the volume throughout, this is about 12 minutes long, so I'm not gonna do that for the purpose of the video, but as you can see, there's some peaks and valleys I'll have to take a look at. Once you're done, you simply go back to effects. Let me just bring this down so that we can see. Go to compressor at this point. You can use control A to select all or simply do compressor. So we want to select where we want to compress. So we want to comp compress the whole thing. You'll do select, compress. It'll give you a recommendation that you can preview. And you hit apply. And as you can see, once it's done, it kind of compresses 
everything to give it a little bit more kind of roundness to it. So as you can see, everything is more robust and rounded out. So that is it for the audio editing and recording using Audacity, uh, step number one. And I'll show you uh, more steps in subsequent videos, such as how to remove background noise and so forth. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you've used Audacity with great results, leave your comments below and share additional tips uh, with other commenters or listeners. Thank you again for watching.